Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Hardcore The Mad Shores. So, I wasn't actually planning on recording this quite yet, but uh, something happened. So basically, I wanted to finish building my house uh, off camera because I thought it was kind of boring to just watch me build a house. So what I decided to do was uh, go out and look for the desert so I could get some more sandstone. But I actually got lost, didn't find the desert, and came across this village. So I think this is pretty cool. Um, my plan for getting back home is maybe making a locator map or something, but there's just, I don't know, I mean, it's a village, and I just, you know, you have to record it. I don't know, I'm just going to kind of raid the village of all of its goods. Spare no children. Chests, I don't even know what this does, but I don't know. I think it, it lets you make, like, stone, cut stone and things like that, I don't know. There's a lot of wood here, I don't know if I'll take it though. What is this, potato? Make some potatoes for our farm. We're being very villainous right now, actually. This is good. This will be good for, uh... Maybe we want to revisit this in the future and just farm some stuff from these villagers. Because they have a lot of good things that we can... You know, because they plant seeds and stuff, at least in the new update. So, I'm lost. I am. So, I just don't know exactly what I should do. I, I'm gonna say this way is the way to go. Uh, the house is actually coming along pretty well. Uh, so are the cows. I've been breeding them a lot. We have tons of cows now. Sugarcane has grown crazy amounts. So I think we're pretty good. We're going to be able to start enchanting pretty soon. Oh, here's the desert. Okay, good. The desert. So we need to find the temple. And then... Well, first we're going to need to get some sandstone. And we're going to need to retrace my steps. I'll just mine some of this up. Each one of these is a smooth sandstone block we can build with. Okay, we have two stacks of 64. That should be good. Um, so, where is it? I saw the well over here. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So this is the well. I don't know. And then the mushroom thing. Did we pass that? I don't remember. We went across the swamp, I remember this. Cause I swam I swam right across here. All you guys who are like watching this series one after another probably are like they know ex exactly where to go. I go got him. Okay, I remember the flowers. Because we ran into the flower field last episode. Or two episodes ago. Which means that it should just be like up here. Oh, I'm so low on food. There it is. Found the house. Yes. Okay, guys. We made it. We made it back. Friends, I have finished construction of the house. First of all, we have a lot of sugar cane growing now. Our cows have been coming along very nicely. This, this is the house. Doesn't it just look fantastic? As you can see, I've added a second floor because one floor was kind of weird looking. Uh, the roof was a pain to make, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, not to mention, I created a locator map, made it a lot bigger using the sugar cane. Uh, so now we'll be able to find our way around like it's nothing. So over here we got uh, the back side of the house, back door, and a balcony. Um, so let's just quick do a house tour. I'll start from the bottom and go down. So up top, we have the balcony. Through these doors, we have the double bed and a painting on the wall for aesthetic purposes. A nice archway into the main upstairs hallway with uh, overlooking edge. Glass and sandstone walls. We got a nice table in the corner. We got a nice red sofa that you can chill out on. We got uh, a nice little table over here, a little booth for eating. Uh, this is the kitchen area. So what we have, we have all of our food in this chest right here. We have a furnace for cooking food, a nice countertop, and a crafting table. You know, all the all the basics. And as you go downstairs, this is the cellar where all of our storage is. I've transferred all of the things from the other uh, other 
base into here. Over here we have four blast furnaces. These only work for ores, but that's okay because we're going to be mining a lot. A stone cutter from the village that I visited earlier. Two barrels, nothing really in here, just for extra storage. Uh, two furnaces for any kind of food we want to cook. And in here, an enchanting room. Now this isn't completely done yet, but as you can see, we're one bookshelf away from a level 30 enchantment table, guys. This is really big. I feel like the first thing we should do is top off that enchantment room. Um, let me just go look to see what kind of materials we have. So we have to make two more books. So that means we need two leather from these cows. Now, I'm just going to kill them because I know we have a lot. So, there we go. Now we have two leather. I don't know how much paper. Let's just gather it all up. I think this is enough. We need six. Six paper. We got our crafting table over here. Very helpful. Three, eight paper, which means we can do... That's right, two books. Boom. And now we can finish it off. Boom. Our last bookshelf, guys. Oh, I just love the look of this house, man. I love how it turned out. Oh, and by the way, a little trick that I learned from uh, a fellow YouTuber, King C. If you put a door on the wall, I actually placed it like like this on the block. So then, when it's here, it's actually in its open state. So zombies don't break it down because they see it's already open. They just kind of run into it. So that's kind of cool. Thanks, King C. Okay, guys. Ready for this? Boom. We can now do level 30 enchantments. So I feel like the only fitting thing to do is level 3 enchant a diamond pickaxe. So let's go down to our mob grinder and get some experience. I really need to make a, a faster way to get down here, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. That's a baby zombie. Lots of zombies down here. Oh yeah, is this just satisfying, just hitting all these zombies and skeletons, or spiders, I mean, this is awesome. Guys, we're almost, we almost went up an entire level just by walking into here. Yes, level 30. Let's get ourselves a level 30 diamond pickaxe, guys. Let's do it. By the way, if you guys haven't already, like and subscribe, share this with your friends. Uh, I didn't know this series. I didn't think it was going to be all that great. I think it's pretty cool. But if you guys don't think that, I mean, it's okay. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool that, you know, we've come this far. And I still haven't died yet. You know? Okay, guys, this is the moment of truth. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 2. I'm going to go for the Fortune, actually. Fortune 2, Unbreaking 2, Diamond Pickaxe. Guys, this, this is awesome here. This thing is going to be... Uh, a god. This is our pickaxe, guys. This is awesome. I say, why not go test it out in the mine? Uh, my sword isn't very good, but who cares, guys? Let's go test this out in the mine. Let me just stick these in the food chest. And boom, let's go. Let's go down in the mine and test out our new pick. I'm really excited, guys. This is going to be awesome. We're going to get so much stuff. So many ore, or so many coal and redstone and lapis and diamonds. Let's just test it on this coal quick. Or actually, no, that's a waste. Never mind. Um, I don't know which direction to mine. Let's just go this way. I'm pretty sure I found diamonds in this cave before. Uh, I feel that we should. There's some nice gold in here. I feel that we should just continue this strip mine. Oh hey, there's a spawner up here. What's uh what's in here? Did I already loot this thing? No, I didn't. Wow, that's cool. Diamonds. Where are they? Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, so what are we doing? Where's the uh strip mine? It's over here, isn't it? Okay, so let's do some of this. Lava diamonds or right, you know what let's do some of this just to save ourselves I want to find some diamonds I don't want none of this coal what is this is this an abandoned mine shaft wait what that's awesome 
I'm just looking around for diamonds. No, whatever. I'll mine some of this iron. Because I want to use that blast furnace too. Lots of exciting new things to try out. You know, I tried raw sushi. I think I already talked about this in the last episode. Whatever. I tried raw sushi. And it was pretty good. It was, um... It was pretty tender. It was weird. It wasn't what you would expect. It was very tender. It tasted like cheese, kind of. I don't know. It's pretty good. I don't know if I'd try it again, but... It was definitely worth a try. Should I mine up the rails? I don't know. I'm honestly just out here for diamonds. That's all. Diamonds! Oh, yeah. Ah, it broke. Well, that's okay. That means we get to test out this pickaxe now. Let's try it out on this coal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We mined seven coal, and how much did we get from it? We got 13. This is means it almost doubled what we get. Now, fortune doesn't work on this. It does not. Which means that... Um, we're going to have to... Just mine a bunch of this stuff still. I'm not a PlayStation gamer. Really, I'm more of a I'm a Nintendo gamer at heart. But, you know. The cookie crumbles, it does. It really does. Is this a spawner? What kind of spawner? It's spider spawner. Hey there. You. There's going to be so much loot to sort through, guys. You know what? I'm never going to be back in here, so I'm just going to mine this thing up. Get all the experience from it. You know, whatever. Um, I feel like I should probably head back because, you know, haven't found any diamonds. But it's okay. This stuff. What is this purple glow over here? Oh, what the heck? It's the sky. I thought it was like the end or something. Like the end portal. You know? Jeez, that means I'm definitely not low enough to find any diamonds. Okay. Well,. Let me head back to the area I was before. Melon seeds? Oh, I don't want any stupid pumpkin seeds. Redstone? Oh, jeez. Do I have any on me? Yeah. This is going to give me so much. Literally, fortune with redstone gives you so much. It's crazy. I know some guys who have like a different pickaxe for every occasion, you know, when they're just mining they have efficiency, when they're just, when they're mining up good ores they have like fortune. Pretty, pretty strats, pretty good strats. We're gonna need to fill up all of our blast furnaces, so it's good to get all this coal. It's also good for experience. I don't know if fortune gives you more experience than uh, a normal amount, but whatever. I can smell diamonds, guys. They're they're close. They're close. I know it. They gotta be close. We have lots of coal, guys. Lots of coal. This is really good. We almost have four full stacks. Actually, you know what we can do? This is a Minecraft pro tip here. If you're ever low on something, wait, just make coal blocks and then you can save tons of space. Alright guys, I think the great diamond quest is just about up. Uh, we haven't found many, we haven't found any diamonds except out of the chest. Uh, but that's okay because, because we have a lot, so... I'm just going to leave this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, uh, leave a comment, leave a like. Really appreciate it. Um, if you want to tell me anything, then yeah, just comment. I mean, honestly, comments are the best because then I get all your guys' uh, criticism, feedback, everything. You know what I'm doing well, what I'm not doing well? It's just cool. It's just cool, you know? Um, so yeah, tell your friends. And with that being said, take care, guys. Have an awesome day.